Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, a really big welcome. My name's Jenny and I make all sorts of lifestyle content on this channel. So I make things like weekly vlogs and then videos about disability, chronic illness, mental health, uh, a bit of Disney fashion, beauty, travel and everything in between. So hopefully there's a video here that you'll enjoy and I hope you stick around to watch this one. So I thought today I would make a classic type of video which is the empties video. I've made a few on my channel and I really enjoy doing them. Basically it is a video where you save up any products that you have finished and then you talk about them and I really enjoy watching these videos because I think you get a really good review from them. Um, if someone has used up a whole product then it means that they have spent enough time to kind of really check it out, see what it's like, and they can give a pr pretty good review of it, um, whether it's good or bad. And yeah, I quite enjoy making them as well. So I've been collecting up various empties for quite a while. Um, I actually ended up with way too many for this video, so I've had to just pick some of them. We've still got quite a few, so I'm gonna try and get through them quickly. Although if you know me, you know that I am terrible at rambling, so I apologise if this video is a bit too long. Um, and also, just to address in case it is obvious, um, I may well have a lisp because I have got Invisalign braces, if you didn't see my videos before that. Um, that's why my voice may, sla may sound slightly different. I'm probably more like aware of it than anybody else is, but I thought I would just kind of say that at the beginning just in case you're wondering why I might be talking slightly differently. So let's get into the empties and yeah see if we can rattle through them. So I feel like this is going to be slightly like hair care heavy but that's just how it's been the last however many months I've been collecting them. Um, so the first couple of empties are by Herbal Essences and I'll start with the shampoo. So this is a Herbal Essences Bio Renew Sulfate Free uh, shampoo in potent aloe and mango um, and this is for colour protect and shine. I use quite a lot of different herbal essences ones and I'm not particularly loyal I wouldn't say to like a particular brand I just tend to look for where the offers are usually um, and I like trying out new things um, and this one I really did like I mean to begin with it smells amazing I mean it, I just I wanted to eat it. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's always a good place to start with a shampoo. Um, but it's just got a really lovely fruity smell, obviously from the mango. Um, but also it just felt very nice in my hair. I do like sulfate free shampoos and conditioners because they just don't seem to like weigh my hair down as much and I've got very fine hair. So it gets weighed down quite easily. Um, and yeah, this one, this one was pretty good at it. Um, it says that the it's got real botanicals from the Royal Botanic Gardens at Kew, 93% uh, natural origin, and then on the back uh, it says it is cruelty free, it's like got a Peter um, cruelty free bunny symbol. Uh, and it's got no sulfates, silicones or colorants. It's good for the planet. The bottle is 100% recyclable and made from 25% recycled plastic. Um, and it's pH balanced and color safe. Um, so yeah, I'd definitely get that one again. And then this is another one that I tried as well, which is a conditioner. Um, again, it's the Herbal Essences Bio Renew. This one is in white, strawberry and sweet mint. Um, again, it's got the real botanicals, 90% natural origin, 0% parabens, colorants or paraffin. Um, and again, this one smells really good. That's one of my favourite things about the herbal essences, is like the scents of them. Um, this is another one that's just, smells really amazing, um, very fruity. Um, and yeah, again, it did a really good job and made my hair smell nice. So both of those I would quite happily purchase again. Another shampoo that I would very happily purchase again is this one, which is the Tresemme Pro Collection Sulfate Free System. Uh, Colour Shine Plex with Camellia Oil uh, and it's a low foam shampoo. I was really intrigued to try this because I do quite like a shampoo that foams up well but then I know that generally shampoos that foam up quite well have sulfates in them um, and so yeah you kind of don't really necessarily, well I don't particularly want that um, but I was a bit worried about like if it doesn't foam up well is it going to feel like it's like giving my hair a good clean um, but actually it foamed up more than I thought it would 
and it left my hair feeling so good. I tend to find with a lot of shampoos, as I said, they make my hair feel quite weighed down. This one just felt so light on my hair and it was, yeah, very, very nice. It felt nice when I was like putting it in and washing it out, but it also felt nice when I like dried it. Um, so yeah, I was very pleasantly surprised by this and it's definitely something that I would buy again. Um, it's a colour protect one, which is something that I tend, well, I try to go for because I have coloured hair. Um, and it says it's their first ever sulfate free system with camellia oil. Our low foaming formula gently cleanses to give your coloured hair long lasting vibrancy and shine for up to 12 weeks. Um, so yeah. I was very impressed by that one, so that's another one that I might buy again. <laughs> right, I think this is the last like shampoo slash conditioner thing, and this one is from OGX, uh, which is a brand that I don't think I'd ever... Oh, I might have tried it once before. I can't remember. Um, I tend to only ever get this if it's on offer because it is a little bit more expensive and kind of a bit more out of my price range, but I got this when it was on offer. Um, and this one's the Nourishing Coconut Milk Conditioner. Uh, it says indulge your senses with this exclusive formula with coconut milk, coconut oil and ultra whipped egg white proteins. This exotic formula helps add strength, elasticity, <laughs> that's fun to say when you've got braces in, elasticity, elasticity, hydration and balance. And again, this says it's sulfate free surfactants. I don't know how to say that. Um, pH balance with a gentle formula and again really like this this one um i found like days later my hair would still smell like condition like um coconut um because i remember like the first time i wore it like a few days later i was like i can really smell coconut and like everywhere i went i could smell coconut and it took me a while to realize that it was my hair and not many conditioners or shampoos i have found do that where it lasts that long um so yeah, this one I was really impressed with. I found it a little bit difficult to squeeze the bottle. Um, I think it's because of like the, possibly because of the shape of it. Certainly when it was getting towards the end, I just had a little bit more difficulty squeezing it, but that's more just my finger issues. Um, and it lasted longer than I thought, because it doesn't, for me, it doesn't look that big, but it actually lasted quite a long time. Um, so yeah, I think definitely like, Oh, it smells amazing. Um, definitely if this was on offer again I would get it again and I'd be really interested to try some of their other like scents and formulas and stuff like that. Um, but no, I was really really impressed by it and again another one that I really liked. So once I've washed my hair, before I dry it I like to put a little bit of serum through it and up until I finished it, the one that I've been using recently is the Pantene Pro-V Dry Oil with Vitamin E Repair and Protect. It says it nourishes and protects damaged hair. Um, I went for this one because I find that my hair falls out quite a lot. Um, it tends to break quite easily and so I thought this might be quite good for it. And usually I just put like a couple of pumps on my hands, rub them together a little bit and then just like work it through the ends. And I really liked it. I stopped using it when I had my leg surgery and for like a while afterwards when I was just trying to recover and do the bare minimum. And I felt like I noticed the fact that I wasn't using it. My hair just didn't feel as nice sort of once it had been blow dried. Um, it seemed to break a lot more easily and yeah, just I, 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 went, I went back to using it and was quite happy with the results again. So yeah. I finished that one up. Um, I have. I'm trying something different now, but again, I would probably go back to this one again as well. Um, I feel like all of these reviews so far are positive, but that's just how it has been. Um, and so, yeah, really like that one. I think they do various other ones for different types of hair, so I'd be interested to see what other ones that they do and whether there's other ones that I might try. Um, but yeah, it didn't make my hair feel greasy or like weighed down or anything. It just felt nice, smelt nice. Next up I have got an exfoliator and this is from number seven. I do love number seven products. I don't tend to get them that often just because I think they're slightly more expensive usually. Although actually like when I've looked 
recently some of them aren't that expensive especially like if you can get them on offer um it's worth having a look this one is the beautiful skin radiance exfoliator for normal to dry skin and it says it reveals smoother brighter looking skin and it is hypoallergenic it's kind of like a sort of creamy consistency with little pink um like massage balls in it i don't know what you call them um and I found it really nice. It wasn't too harsh. I wouldn't say I've got sensitive skin, but I've got quite like, I don't know, like reactive skin. So um, it, my, my skin will go red very easily and things like that. Um, and this was quite nice. So yeah, as I said, it wasn't, it wasn't too harsh, but it had enough of a scrub to kind of still feel like you were giving your skin a good scrub, which I quite like. Um, it left my skin feeling nice afterwards. It didn't feel tight or dry or anything like that. Um, it felt quite sort of moisturized after using it. Um, and yeah, generally really like that one. Um, it says it's created to help your dry skin behave like normal skin and provide tailored nutrition for healthy looking, bright and beautiful skin. Um, so yeah, that's one that I would definitely try again. I've got another one um, that I'm using or that I'm going to use, I think. Um, which is, anyway, I've got it in my drawer. It's another number seven one, but it's a slightly different one, so I'll be interested to see what that one's like compared to this one. Um, but yeah, certainly this one, I would be quite happy to use it again. Right, I might as well do my other face scrub while I'm here. Um, so another face scrub that I finished using a little while ago now is the Visibly Clear Pink Grapefruit Daily Scrub uh, by Neutrogena. And it is, it's got micro clear technology, whatever that is. It helps to eliminate spots and blemishes with a fresh, clean feel uh, developed with dermatologists. I did like this one. It's got more of a like kind of, I don't know if sticky is the right word, but like more of like that kind of like gloopy type feel. Um, it's not, it, yeah, it feels more like a gel than a cream. Like the other one felt more sort of creamy. This one's more like a gel. Um, and it's got much finer little sort of scrubbing beads in it um, so it feels a little bit harsher than the number seven one um, but it smells amazing it smells of pink grapefruit which I love it's lovely and fresh and fruity and just lovely um, and it does a really good job of giving your face a good scrub um, this one like I tend to well I used it probably twice a week and that was enough for me, some people would use it every day, but I think for me that would be a bit too much. Um, whereas possibly the number seven one, I possibly could have used a bit more often. Um, but this one definitely like twice a week was good for me. Um, uh, what else does it say? So it's got powerful micro, micro clear technology and exfoliating micro beads. The formula unclogs pores to clean deeply and help eliminate spots and blackheads. The refreshing scrub gently purifies the skin without over drying while a wave of pink grapefruit uplifts the senses and bursts of invigorating freshness. Yeah, I would say that it didn't leave my skin feeling dry at all. Um, I do find that some scrubs can be quite harsh and like really dry your skin out. This one for me didn't do that. Um, I would put some sort of, you know, moisturiser on or something afterwards when I've done my skincare routine. Um, but even if I forgot to put the moisturiser on, it, it didn't feel dry so I would probably use it again um, I don't know yeah I think I would it's, it is a nice one um, but I would like to quite try some other ones and just see what's out there so yeah I liked it but maybe not like wouldn't like run back to buy it so I've also recently finished using another face product which is this one which is the now I never know how to say this, is it Bure or Bure? I think it's Bure. Uh, free Your Pores Charcoal Pore Minimizer. Gently exfoliates and deep cleanses to instantly reduce the appearance of pores. I think this really appealed to me like when I saw it because I have quite big pores like especially like on my nose and around here um, and I'm always interested to see if like a product can help that. Um, so I thought I'd give this a try. It is black. <laughs> so you end up with like this like 
black mask. I know when I used it like the first time, my mum came in and I was like covered in this black mask and she was a bit like, oh wow, what's that? Um, but it does wash off really easily actually because I was a little bit nervous putting it on but it does, it comes off quite easily. Did it minimise my pores? Not that I noticed. Um, I mean, it, it felt quite nice on my skin. It was, it was all right. I mean, I, I don't know whether it really did an awful lot. Um, I mean, it says that it activates with water to draw out deep down impurities and remove dirt and oil. Our unique formula with natural micro crystals, smooth skin and leaves pores visibly smaller. Yeah, I, I didn't notice my pores looking any smaller. Um, my face felt quite clean and sort of fresh but that was kind of it. I also found it really difficult to get the product out of here. So you are meant to like just press this bit here and it comes out but I I don't know what, what I was doing wrong but I would press it and it just would not come out and I'd have to kind of shake it around to try and get it out. There's still a little bit left in there that I just for love nor money cannot get out of there. Um, so that's probably not something that I would buy again um, because one, I couldn't get the product out and two, it didn't seem to make a huge amount of difference to my pores. Next up is a body wash and it's from Soap & Glory which is one of my favourite brands. They always do some great stuff. This is the Orange... Orangeasm? Orangeasm? Orangeasm. Is that how you say it? I don't know if I'm really saying that right. Um, anyway. This is what it looks like. Uh, it's scented with fresh green mandarin, Sicilian lemon and sweet orange peel oils, zesty, fresh and revitalizing body wash with skin softening, moisture boosting properties and our exclusive MSUDS technology. Triple T antioxidant complex, ginseng and pink pepper berry. That was a mouthful. Um, I really like this. It smells amazing, lovely and like fresh and fruity, which is what I like for a shower gel. Um, love the bottle because for somebody who has difficulty squeezing bottles, having a pump that I can just press makes my life so much easier. So yeah, really, really loved the bottle um, and the product was good. It like lathered up, made nice bubbles. It smelled good like I could still smell it on my skin afterwards um yeah not a lot more I can say about that other than really really liked it and I think I will be looking at some more of the soap and glory bath and body bits because it just reminded me how much I love them <laughs> another shower gel that I really loved that I am gutted that they don't do anymore is the cactus blossom shower gel from the body shop I got this quite a while ago and I got, I also got a, I think I got a hand soap as well and this one I was like, I just ended up saving it because I was like, I just don't want to use it because it smells nice and I know it was a limited edition but I ended up using it in the end and I just loved it so if anyone from the body shop is watching please, please bring this one back because it, it's such a nice scent. I remember I went to a, it might have been a blogger event or something where they were just bringing this out and they were telling us about it and I was like it just like when they said oh it's cactus blossom I was like eh it's alright it's like not going to be my kind of thing and then I smelt it and I was just like it's just such a nice smell it's sort of slightly floral with a bit of a sort of fresh almost like fruity scent to it it's really difficult to describe the scent but it is a really nice scent and I'm gutted that they don't do it anymore. Um, I really like, well I like the body shop anyway, but I like their shower gels. Um, they go a long way, they bubble up amazingly. Um, <laughs> like when I was using this I was getting like huge bubbles like forming like between my arms and stuff. Um, the whole bathroom smelled amazing. There's a tiny bit in the bottom there, I might be able to get that out. So yeah, this was definitely a favourite and as I said, if anyone from the Body Shop's watching and would like to bring back the Cactus Blossom scent, then please do. Right, we're on the home straight, I've got two more things to show you. Uh, the next one is a hand wash and it's by Bayliss and Harding. I get a lot of hand washes from Bayliss and Harding because they do some really nice scents. Um, and this one 
is probably one of my favourite ones that I've tried actually. It's oatmeal, milk and honey. And when I saw it on the Boots website, um, I thought, oh, that sounds really nice. And so decided to get it and I'm really glad that I did. It smells, I mean, it smells like oatmeal, milk and honey. <laughs> it's just like quite a sort of like subtle, inoffensive, like comforting smell, um, which I really liked. But what I really liked about it was how moisturising it was. I find quite a lot that hand washes can sometimes kind of really feel like they're kind of stripping your hands and they tend to make my hands quite dry, especially when you're like washing your hands quite a lot with COVID and everything. Um, this one was really, yeah, really nice. It didn't feel like it was drying out my hands. Um, they felt very moisturized. And as I said, I really like the Bayless and Harding's, um, Bayless and Harding hand washes anyway, because they lather up nicely, you get lots of bubbles. Um, and so, yeah, I don't know whether this was like a limited edition one or whether you can still get this one. I don't remember seeing this one when I looked last time. Um, so I will have a look and as with any of the products in this video, I will link them below if I can find them. Um, but yeah, this is definitely one that I would like to get again because it was nice to my hands and that's important. <laughs> and then the last empty that I've got for you today is one that I'm pretty sure I've spoken about before. It is the O'Keeffe's Working Hands Hand Cream. I I love a good hand cream and I will often have one in my bag. I like ones that smell nice, that look pretty but I get quite dry hands especially like in the winter months obviously it's not the winter months at the moment um but especially if the weather's just even a little bit cold my hands will get dry and I've tried all sorts of different hand creams and really struggled to find one that seemed to really work <laughs> um you know they would kind of I'd put them on and they'd make my hands feel okay um but after like half an hour or so I'd get that like nasty dry feeling again and they'd start to get like sore um and someone recommended me to this recommended me this a few years ago um and when I initially got it I wasn't a massive fan it's very different to the hand creams that I'd tried before so it's like it's like a hard balm kind of stuff it's not like a you know like it's not like a cream um but once i started using it i realized why so many people recommended it you don't need a huge amount um you get like a little bit of the balm and then just rub it in as you normally would and for me it works miracles if i use this every day in the winter it keeps my hands from starting to get like cracked and sore. Um, my mum uses it on her hands, she gets really dry sore hands and it does help her. I think hers are a bit more severe than mine, um, but it definitely does make a difference. But now I can't use anything else. Like I've tried other things that say that they're like really good for dry hands and they're just, they're just not as good compared to this. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's not, I was going to say it's not the cheapest like it's not massive it's not like hugely expensive and actually it lasts like a tub like that will last me probably the, the whole winter um but yeah it's definitely it's like it's something to, it's, you have to kind of get used to because it's not like your normal hand cream and it, it definitely took me a bit of getting used to um and to begin with I would use way too much and I'd be like oh this is horrible it was all greasy but if you kind of get the sweet spot and use the right amount it it's just perfect um so i will just put this on before bed and generally i don't need to reapply it again during the day i might apply like a lighter hand cream during the day um just to kind of give my hands a little bit of extra moisture but this yeah used once a day at least is perfect for me so if you if you struggle with dry hands um they also do i think one for feet and also a lip balm um which i haven't tried yet but i will definitely be trying in the winter um but yeah if you have problems with dry cracked sore hands um i would definitely definitely recommend giving this one a try 
And that is all of my empties for this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching and seeing some of the products that I've been using. If you have and you'd like to see more from me, please give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell. That means you'll get notified every time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and if any of them are a favorite of yours or if there's any other products you think that I might like to try that aren't in this video. Also let me know if there's any videos you'd like to see me do it doesn't matter what the topic is I am just interested to hear what kind of stuff you would like to see so please do let me know also come and follow me on social media my links are in the description below but I'll pop my Instagram and Twitter up here those are the two platforms that I'm mainly on so please do come over and say hello I'm trying to reply to comments on social media and on here as quickly as I can it just depends how my health's doing as to how quickly I can get through them all but I really appreciate anybody that takes the time to leave a comment or a message and it would be lovely to see you over there and I'll see you in another video very soon. Bye!